So hello, Cynthia. Hello. Um, what is special about Berlinale? How is it different from other festivals? Well, it's very, it's a very big festival uh, in all senses because it it has a lot of films, of course, many sections, but also because uh, it's a big, important gathering of uh, people who work in the industry uh, from all around the world. So it's a good opportunity to to meet old friends and to make new friends and to network a little bit. Um, and also because it's a it's a very uh, audience festival so it's interesting that such an important festival in professional terms then becomes also a very important festival for the city and uh, it's wonderful to see the the rooms full and people really participating so yeah okay and uh, the program of Berlinale is quite politicized does it help you or uh, disturbs you when you uh, make your work? Uh, no, I mean, I think uh, today a film festival can only have a politicized program because otherwise it would be totally detached from, from what is going on and film is about life, no? Uh, fiction, documentary doesn't matter, it comes from our lives and from what we live, so I think the, the, the mission of a film festival is to express that through programming and for that reason I think it's very bold also uh, and important to be to have a politicized program okay I see and you tell us uh, told us that um, there are a lot of people if people are more likely to watch documentaries more and more nowadays yeah totally uh, I think uh, more and more we are recognizing that documentaries uh, is a film form more than, uh, or it can be a film form, not just a television uh, f product form. So it, it's a film that is supposed to be watched on, on the big screen collectively, uh, which is a very important thing because in a film festival we are collectively watching and discussing films. And that's one of the main uh, attractions in a film festival, to be able to debate the films with the filmmakers and with friends and the other com the community. So, yes, I think the audience is more and more aware that documentary is an important and interesting and productive film form. Okay, and how to spread documentary across the world? Does new technologies help to make it or what do you think? I think new technologies help it. I think also that uh, so, uh, as long as the audience of documentary increases, the funding also and the funding institutions become aware of the importance of it. Though I still think that uh, a lot of work has to be done. And also I think that uh, it's very important that um, television networks become uh, aware of, of uh, the importance of it and, and of the importance of new forms and uh, uh, new speeches about reality that are not necessarily um, entering their programs and that uh, maybe it's time to, to change that. So I think uh, new web-based, uh, internet-based websites that uh, uh, spread documentary, new small tiny channels that are interested in artistic and author documentary and so new forms. Uh, I think all that is very important. Okay, so this stimulates uh, young filmmakers to make documentary or what other purpose to make documentary to um, keep memories to or just because it's easier to make uh, than the future film? I don't think it's easier. Why is it easier? You know, with, because you don't need to collect the cast and find the uh, roles? No, maybe you don't need that, but you need to, to, to know where you are, you need to decide how to tell a story, you need to, to build up a team, you need to, to face reality, sometimes very hard uh, and difficulties in the process, and you need to be capable of having the sensitivity to find the good balance b between what you are looking for and what the world brings you. So I think it's a very difficult form actually. And um, I think the, the, the young 
filmmakers that and, and the old filmmakers that are doing documentary, they are doing it because they feel uh, that they have something to say and that the, it's important what they have to say. Also, I think that documentary form is a form of sharing experiences, sharing personal experiences, most of all. And that's the main, for me, the main political potency of documentary, the fact that we can look at the world through someone's eyes and not in an in a illusion of objectivity or an illusion of neutrality that traditional media give us. So I think the, 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 one of the main um, antidotes for, for, um, for homogeneity and uh, narr homoge uh, hom homogeneous narratives about the world and about our lives Uh, is documentary because it's the place for singularity and for individuals to express themselves artistically and in a way that can they can communicate collectively okay and what are you searching uh, in documentary what is th the main thing for you there's not one main thing there are many main things but i think one thing that i really uh I'm very strict on it, is that I don't separate form from content. So for me, a good film is not only a good theme uh, or only a good form. So uh, I think the, the, the main and most difficult task of a, a filmmaker is to find the good form for the content and to find the good content for its cinematic uh, interests and experiments. So. One, a documentary is a film. Uh, I'm even a bit um, careful in using the word documentary usually because uh, we tend to think documentary is not film. It is, uh, you know, in, in the common language of every day. Second, uh, as it is film, it's supposed to be an object about cinema. So it's supposed to be related to cinema in the sense that it's supposed to build up a dialogue with tradition of cinema, to invent things, to experiment things in cinematic uh, language. And then, of course, um, how uh, I can recognize the, or I, how I can feel The, the, the need of the filmmaker to do that film and not another and to do it in that way. So uh, I think that's the main difference between, for instance, a documentary from a reportage or from news, you know? It's the fact that it's a person, a person or a collective of people with very um, singular experiences and, and uh, ways of expression. So that's what I'm looking for. <laughs> okay. Could you tell us a bit about documentary trends? Nowadays, what are the trends? trends? Yes. Um, I think more and more documentary is being is um, destroying barriers. Uh, I don't like very much the word hybrid documentary because it's supposed to mean that there is two sides. There are two sides: documentary and fiction because I think documentary practices are more and more destroying the barriers between genres. So more and more you see fictional methods that become uh, non-fiction works, or you see uh, the world in, and reality invading fiction films, or you see experimental language being used to tell real stories or, you know, like, and of course we are always trying to, to, to invent concepts as a film, uh, you know, like so many concepts that we try to invent to classify uh, the practices, but I think more and more these practices are changing and are constantly invading each other. So I would say that one thing is the technology. So you have very different Uh, materials of film today from iPhone to cellular to 16 millimeter or 35 millimeter or 8 millimeter video you know like you have archive film which is very important uh, the work that is being done by What is it? archive film so f doing films uh, with archives uh, 
Um, and uh, so, yes, I think the main trend is the fact that more and more we have to question our concept of documentary mm -hmm. and of fiction, of course, of genre. Okay. Um, what documentary out of Berlinale program impressed you most lately or recently? This year? Not necessarily. I Last time I did. Year. <laughs> okay, this year. No, I can't tell you. I can't. I'm in out. Jury, so <laughs> yes, uh, that, that's why I tell you. Out yeah. of Berlinale program. Out. out of Berlinale yes. Program. Uh, I love a film that I saw. I love very much a film that I saw in Forum maybe two editions ago. Uh, a film by Cornelio Porumboyu about uh, a game, a game, a football game. So it's the 90 minutes of a football game from the 80s in Romanian television. His father was a referee and so they are commenting the game and while we are watching actually the game. And I hate football and I love this film because... Um, and I don't understand anything about football so it's not a film for football lovers necessarily but through the conversation and through the small ironies of the film and the, the relation of them both, you can discover uh, politics and you can discover the, 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 the experience of that man in Ceausescu's dictature uh, uh, refereeing a game of Romania against some other country. And for me, that was a very, very, very pleasant experience to watch it. Besides this, I love the, the film, the Wang Bing film that premiered here last year, probably. can't remember if it was last year or two years ago. The Refugee, um, the, a film where he accompanies uh, refugees in, from uh, Birmania. Uh, I don't know, so many, two, two years ago. <laughs> Uh, so, yeah, uh, a lot of uh, good films. Uh, last year, uh, All the Cities of the North, I think it was last year. Uh, it was also a very good film. So every year I see quite good films in Berlin. <laughs> okay, I will look a lot of good films after this interview. <laughs> uh, what plans do you have? I mean, you personally want to film something or you want to spread the idea of documentary and help documentary grow? growth? Um, well, I, I, I'm working f in a film festival, so for me, the, the building the, the bridges between the films and the audience is very important. And uh, in Doc Lisboa, the festival I'm running, uh, for us it's very important that we don't give up on, on easy uh, strategies. So uh, if we find a film that is very important for us, but that we think that maybe is very difficult for our audiences, we accept and we welcome the task to find a way to, to present it and to find a way to bring the audience to watch it and to engage with it. And so that's, I think that's the work of the true work of a programmer. So that is one big, big, big goal that I have in life or challenge that you face yeah and to find to to find the films and to find the ways that films can communicate between themselves and with the audience also to to work a lot between the historical films and new films and trying to question all the time our sense of history of film uh, so and also of course to 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 give my help and my effort to young filmmakers that are trying to start their, their work in cinema to have uh, not easiest because it's never easy but to have at least some support to feel supported. Which programs do you have? What support do you offer to young talents? Uh, well in, in Doc Lisboa we have a project development lab. Well actually we have two. We have one for um, Portuguese and Spanish speaking countries. Uh, it's more for e really young filmmakers and independent film. It's it's a very it's like a very intensive lab, and then we have a co-production forum with uh, co-produced with EDN, European Documentary Network, 
And also, we do it through programming. We do it through being very attentive to to films, to young filmmakers, not just doing just programming a show uh, uh, best of uh, of the films that were in the main festivals, but really actively looking for for newcomers. Okay, thank you. <laughs>